Let's, <laughs> let's talk about uh, the news though. Today in, are we sure? Yeah? Is this, uh, is this really, is this really happening? LA Mayor Eric Garcetti says maybe indoor dining could be back in LA County in the next two weeks. Eater reports all the details that came out in a long sit down interview yesterday with a different news station. The mayor says the vaccines and decreasing case rates mean we might move out of the purple most restrictive tier and into the red one. The county is allowing indoor dining at 25% capacity in that tier. Bars would still remain closed, however, so sorry. If the current trend continues, the county thinks we'll hit that red tier next week. The mayor says we'll likely have to hold it there for two weeks before any policies change. LA is joined by Orange, Ventura, and Santa Barbara, among others in SoCal, in that purple tier. Uh, but in the Bay Area, indoor dining actually resumes on Wednesday in what? San Francisco. Yeah. Isn't it kind of weird? Like the whole process, sort of the psychology of it feels like, you're good now, so you can be bad later, which is so weird to me. Um, and we will pick up with that next story uh, in, a, in a little bit about fears of opening too soon, which I think, uh, you know, I don't know, it's weird. Dr. Barbara Ferrer said, listen, we're gonna get out of this tier probably if the case continues to go this way. Uh, we have heard some conversations about plateauing, uh, but I think generally happens with the cases being so high that, that they fall at a certain point, the, the drastic fall uh, uh, exponentially decreases the, the lower the numbers get anyway. So case rates still going down. Uh, uh, basically at where they were over the summer and uh, a 3% or less positivity rate for cases here in LA County, which is the lowest it's been since the pandemic has uh, I just, started. I want to sit indoors in a diner or a booth mm. for so long that my legs stick when I get up. Yeah. I miss that feeling. It means I've had a great dinner. Mm -hmm. It means I've been chatting with my friends for were a long time. Were you wearing pants in this scenario? Ladies no. wear shorts. Is, mm. that a, is that a crazy thought? Where, um, okay, diner wise though, because I'm, I'm on I was thinking like Musso and Frank. I just want to oh, yeah. get up from a dark indoor. Women get everything because I couldn't wear shorts to Musso and Frank. A skirt, a dress, whatever. But I just want that no, feeling of like I've been sitting that. down for Sorry. too long. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. No, I know you're right. I know Musso and Frank would be one of my first places I could go if the things open back up again. Bobby, but also, Robert, is, I, it's gonna be one of those things where it's like it's open and then we're all gonna be like, Ooh, should I? is it? Are we? Yeah. Are we? Sh but every other state bordering us yeah. has been able to do so New York City safely which is not bordering us but also has you know famously clear I may not know what day it is where is that I may not know anything New York, about New York <laughs> yeah, the Vegas the Vegas New casino. York City with the no, smoke I mean, coming out of I was the, saying that a you know, similar similar places that have been very hard hit by COVID uh, had a lot of COVID cases over the over the winter and also um, very dense like Los Angeles yeah. New York City uh, opened uh, indoor dining I think about a Two, two weeks ago. So do we get to have those fantasy conversations of, okay, when things open up, where are you going to go? Yes, we should. Just think about it because it like helps you feel positive yeah. and happy. And I, don't I know. declare Musso and Frank. That I, is I think that's a great one. Uh, Bobby, how about you? You had you had some thoughts on indoor indoor dining a little bit earlier. Did I? <laughs> Did I? How I, badly I mean, I'm always you talking about go. dining and food and yeah. everything, but um, I would love to go to. Um, oh, sorry, I was listening to your. Phone. I tapped your phone. <laughs> you tapped my phone. Tapped right. your phone conversation. Um, there's okay. a place that I like called the Old Ship. It's like a British pub. I want like a cozy, mm -hmm. like like a tight little, like you said, like a dark yeah. room that you can just kind of hang out in. For Make hours. me feel as indoor as you yeah. can. Yeah. I want a dive bar that is only open because they have like somebody in the back making hot pockets in <laughs> in the yeah. in the yeah. microwave back to, to hot dog to fulfill right? right three minutes into the show. <laughs> no, but I mean because a lot of places, especially like in Santa Barbara County, uh, that were restaurant or bars only. They had to flip over and make food. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. have to buy some food if you're going to go to this bar, which right. is a way that they could stay open. Um, so you got a B British pub. Yeah, I'd go to a British pub or uh, some sort of pizzeria indoors. I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Robert? <laughs> I know, I know they've, they've probably been open during the pandemic, but um, uh, Paul, <laughs> let me put that away there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's been gross. I guess I was uh, thinking, I don't yeah. know, I was just, yeah. like I was, I had to choose something. I well, really like, there's this one place I love. <laughs> He was no, manifesting a martini glass. Mm. Yes, that's it. When we got those cauliflower tacos, Andrew. Um, you remember <gasps> that place? Fig. Hotel yes, Fig. I yes. got a pitch for them today. <laughs> I'm like, how many times Let's can we do, do it? Hotel yes. Yes. Uh, I guess we're going. Breva, yeah. right? Uh, is that the what, name of the restaurant? In Breva. The, yes. Breva, I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah. That's great. Um, the dining experience was just fantastic, and those tacos are uh, best eaten 
fresh out of the oven or fresh cooked or whatever, what have you. I, I'm not a vegan, so I don't know how they're made. Cauliflower tacos. Yeah. And, you know, it's a mystery. I, and me. you have to be a vegan to know how things are made. <laughs> Thinking things are made. Thank you for taking her, by the way.